We are alive. I'm still alive, you bastards. We're back, aren't we? Yep. Yeah, yeah, we are fucking back and stronger than ever. Yeah, we are here to kill some bitches. How you doing, mate? I haven't talked to you in a while, too. Yeah. Shit's yeah. been fucked up, kind of. Man, shit's kind of been fucked up recently, right? Yep. Like, the last time we did a podcast, Andrew Tate was still available on social media. Now he's fucking not. <laughs> Jesus. Like, what happened? What's going on in this world, man? Like, Andrew Tate's getting banned? Like, do you support Andrew Tate? No. I how I mean sometimes he says shit that I don't agree with. Like, but some other times he's like speaking facts. He's like talking about how Americans are becoming stupid and how freedom of speech is not there anymore. Listen, I've, I don't want to really get into it, but um United States of America, you are you used to be one of the best countries in the world. Now I don't like to go live in America. And one of those reasons is like you cannot you, you don't have that freedom of speech anymore. You remember back like, a couple of years ago, like couple, maybe like a decade ago, they'd be like, America, America, yeah, home of the free, home of the brave, land of the free. You remember that shit? They'd be yeah. yelling, freedom of speech, yeah, America, motherfucker. Now that now that shit's gone. Like freedom of speech. It, right now, it's more like freedom of those who, who have the ability to yell. Seriously. If you don't, if somebody doesn't like you, you can get canceled. Seriously. And I, and I'm sure if we talk shit, we're going to get canceled too. But I don't give a fuck. Guess what? I don't give a fuck. Like, people come at me all the time. Like, especially, like, especially a couple of nights ago, I was on a date with this um, non-binary chick non-binary but also a feminist and guess what in our language in persian we don't have fucking pronouns yeah we don't have gender pronouns yeah we don't have gender pronouns but that's the thing we don't have the gender pronouns but that chick she was non-binary non-binary i don't even know what the fuck that is and i don't support non-binary people at all like i support like the gays and the lesbians and the bisexuals and the transgenders to a degree. But the fucking non-binary people, not at all. I've said it last episode with Jared. I don't don't support non-binary people. She was like, and I've been watching a lot of Matt Walsh. Do you know who Matt Walsh is? He had he huh? did a documentary a couple days, a couple months ago called What is a Woman? Basically going around challenging people, all those people who call themselves doctors and saying that people can know their gender identity as young as, let's say, two years old. I don't even know what the fuck that means. Like, she was like, oh, I'm non-binary. I'm also feminist. I'm like, all right, first of all, uh, you, you guys probably cannot see it, but here Rick says, I'm sorry. But your opinion means very little to me. I said the same thing. I was like, I'm sorry, but your opinion means very little to me. You are a woman. You are a biological woman. And I'm going to call you a woman. She was like, no, don't call me a woman. I'm non-binary. I'm like, please fuck off. Mid-date, I, I stood up. I put my phone in my pocket. And I went, fuck off. Don't call me again. Listen, I don't want to get into it because we're going to get canceled. And I want to, And I would like to... Stay on YouTube because it's better than Rumble. But if we get canceled, we're, guess what? We're going to fucking Rumble, man. And Spotify. All right. Enough of that shit. UFC, MMA, boxing, whatever. Give me all you got. I haven't talked about this shit in, I don't know, more than a month, actually. Yeah, it's been... It was in the build of the Cheeto fight, I think. Yeah, yeah. Barrow Cruz. Yeah, after so we had after, that event, yeah, that, that was a good event. We had, uh, we had that week's break, and then the Usman Edwards. Yeah, we talked about that. Yeah, I, but I get, I wow. still gave my predictions. Yeah, I still gave my predictions with Jared. I said Leon Edwards by decision. How stupid I am! He got the knockout. Uh this this is from I've always predicted against Usman. 
So I was like, let me, me too. let me, me too. predict it for Usman. Reverse psychology, and he got knocked out. And listen, I love the fact that he got that he got the humble pie because you know he was dressing up. I don't like the fact. I don't like the way Kamara dresses up. To be honest with you, I don't like it. Yeah, and he's I mean, fake. He's faking nut shots. Oh that. yeah, 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 yeah. He's faking nut shots. He's faking eye pokes. He's faking. He's grabbing the fucking cage. And how? And Chael Sonnen actually came out and said, "Well, Leon Edwards cheated." Chael, I respect Man. you as a fighter, as a man, as a title challenger. As a man who I basically called a former WEC champion, another uh, fact when Chael fought for the WEC title, the champion missed weight, but they didn't, and Chael won basically, but they didn't give him the title. Back then, the rules were kind of, you know, chaotic. All right. I basically yeah. called Chael the former WEC champion. And as a champion, and as a guy who's an analyst now, you should have the eyes to see that Kamaru Usman was the one cheating dur- during that fight. It, and it was not just the Ian Edwards fight, the Leon Edwards fight. It was the Kobe Covington fight, especially the first one. The first one. He was, yeah, that was faking bad. eye pokes. He was faking nut shots. Illegal strikes to the back of the head. And listen, Kamaru Usman, as great as he is, he kind of cheats at some point during the fight. Like he grabs the cage. Ultimate Fighter. I don't know if you watched the Ultimate Fighter when Usman was in it. Oh yeah. He I was grabbing the cage. He was he was he was fucking talking shit with Sabah Homasi, who's a fighter in Bellator now. They were like, Oh, you didn't grab the cage. He was like, Hey, show me where I grabbed the cage. And he was grabbing the fucking cage. Yeah. Kumar Usman, he plays dirty sometimes, but at the end of the day, he's a for, he's a world champion. And I don't know what to say. He's a former world champion. And to be honest with you, I kind of think he got what he deserved. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. And if you remember, if you remember the first fight with Kobe, Kobe landed a beautiful head kick on Usman too. You remember that fight? Kobe landed yes. a head kick. Yeah. I kind of wobbled him. So I knew that head kick was going to be there. Fight. Yeah. I he knew the head kick was going to be there. On the buzzer. Yeah, Maybe I knew the head kicks was going to be there for Usman. Because I I saw how Usman defends, you know, he tries to slip. Yeah, and yeah. That's one thing I not never boxer. try in the gym. And a couple, uh, not uh, not yesterday, like a couple, year, couple days ago, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I got a scratch right here. I think I went to the shower and it, and it fell off. I got kicked in a fucking head by my coach. Because I did the slip. I ate it, though, unlike Usman. I ate it, and I wasn't even involved. Unlike Usman. So what's up, Usman? Let's fight, motherfucker. <laughs> now say it. I will fight Usman. I don't really care, but he'll beat the fuck out of me. Maybe I beat the fuck out of him. Who knows? But yeah, the heck, it was always there. Because, listen, when you are in a cage, you cannot strike like a boxer. Because, you know, you slip, and that... You know, the head kick is going to be there. So that's the, that's the thing with Usman. And now he knows he, he knows that the flaw in his defense, he's going to go back to the drawing board and fix it. Same thing with, same yeah. thing with Leon. But Leon's grappling was good. I think he kind of gassed out because of the altitude. Yeah. All right, moving on. Let's move on to the next event. Paris, weren't it? No. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah, it was Paris. Paris. It was Paris. Paris was wild. Paris was fucking wild. Did you did you did you watch the card by the way? Did you watch it live? Yeah. Did you do you remember when they were singing the, the French national anthem? They were singing the fucking yeah. national anthem. That was that was one of the most French things I've ever seen in my life. That was one of the most French things I've ever seen in my life. They were singing the national anthem. I don't even know. I, I don't speak French, so I don't know what the fuck they were saying. I kind of speak a little bit of Spanish. Yeah, I've been trying to learn Spanish now. Yeah, I've been working on it for about a month now. But I don't speak French. But it sound. I was like, what the fuck are they saying? Are they singing the national anthem? And then after the fight, I kind of went, you know, went online and found the national anthem. And it was the same thing. Yeah, that was wild. The knockout was wild. Ty Tuivasa became the first man to drop Cyril Gone. Francis Ngannou couldn't do that. 
Derek Lewis couldn't do that. And Ty just dropped him on his ass. That fight was wild. The whole night was wild. I didn't, I couldn't really watch the fights because I was, I was at work. You know, the timing, the time was good, to be honest. It ended at 2 a.m., 3 a.m. I got a good night of sleep. But still, it was a little bit, you know, inconvenient, especially for, for the guy who likes to watch from the first fight to the last fight. Um, but yeah, I watched a couple, I watched the fights. I watched the main card. I watched a couple of fights on the prelims. Then I went back and kind of watched the highlights. The fights were amazing. The whole event was amazing. Let's do it again in Paris. Let's do it again. Let's do Spain. Let's do fucking Sweden. Let's legalize MMA in Norway. Let's go to those places, man. That's that's gonna be fucking wild. Let's go back to fucking England again this year. Yeah, who are you talking to? Yeah, let's go back to fucking England again. Yeah, well, I don't know if they're gonna go back to England this year though. And speaking of England, um. Rest in peace, Queen Elizabeth. Yeah. Every time I saw a picture of Queen, even before she passed away, she kind of looked like a mother to me. Do you know what I'm saying? She looked like that sweet old lady you see on the street, you know? Oh, I hope the, I don't I hope I don't get fucking assassinated by James Bond now. Oh yeah, rest in peace to Queen Elizabeth Queen Elizabeth. Rest in peace to former UFC fighter fighter. Elias Theodoro, uh, the Spartan, uh, died at the age of 34. Fuck cancer. First of all, fuck cancer. I fucking hate cancer. And to be honest with you, that was sad. Like more, It was in the morning. I woke up to go to work. I checked my phone every day. I, I wake up. I check my Instagram. Look at the news. And I was like, and I saw Elias Theodoro pass away. I'm like, what the fuck? I, will, I thought that was kind of a joke or maybe like a meme or something that's been going around. But then I saw it and I was like, Jesus. Yeah, I wasn't going to wait him on the show, man. God rest his soul. Yeah. Well, I'm going to dedicate this podcast to Elias. Yeah. The guy was an absolutely amazing fighter. He beat Sam Alvey. Have you seen this fight with Sam Alvey, by the way? No. Where did you go? Oh, you said he, did, you, did you just use your powers again? No, I can't. I thought it was dying. Man, if you guys don't know, Oli Stanley, he's a member of the X-Men. Yeah, he can go and he can disappear all of a sudden. He can't, he, no, he doesn't go invisible. He just disappears. He can teleport and shit. All right. What happened after UFC Paris? It was UFC 279, wasn't it? Yeah. Wow. What a fucking shit show it was. It was a fucking shit show, if I'm being honest with you, Oli. It was a shit show. I don't like how that turned out. I mean, I liked the fights. I enjoyed the fights. But the whole week, it was a fucking shit show. Yeah. From Hamza missing weight to the from the press conference being canceled, from Hamza missing weight, from the fights being changed, and everything was fucking my it was a mind fuck basically. Tony got tapped out by Nate Diaz. Hamza ran through fucking Kevin Holland. Li Jing Leon gets robbed against Daniel Rob. Rodriguez. Fucking Johnny Walker does the worm again and then kicks gets gets kicked out of the fucking arena. They didn't even let him change into his normal clothes. They didn't even give him a pair of shoes. A pair of shoes they're fucking basically partners with Dwayne Johnson right now. The Rock. The, sh- the Rock shoes or whatever the fuck they're called. They didn't even give him a pair of those. And they just kicked him out of the arena. And Dana White was like, "That it's rough around here. What the fuck do you mean it's rough around here? He's a fighter, man. Take care of him. He just fought his ass off. You're going to take care of this, man. And you're like, oh, that's rough? Well, guess fucking what? Next, when you when fighters start disrespecting you, then you know what's up. 
And I don't mean no disrespect to Dana White. I'm I'm sure he had no idea. Well, he needs to manage those things. He needs to. I know he's doing a business, but he needs to tell his guys, hey, if you're gonna kick him out, at least let him put his shoes on. Then kick him out. Yeah. I don't. It was I, a good. Yeah. Good fight, though. Yeah, great but fight. It, it was just mess. It was madness. Now Tony Ferguson got tapped out. First time in the UFC. That I, I kind of feel like Tony was fighting with too much respect for Nate Diaz, if I'm being honest. Yeah. Too much respect, actually. I mean, the respect is there, but there was too much respect from Tony's side. Yep. He got the more favorable matchup. I mean, Li Jing Leon got the short end of the stick. He came in at 170 and a half, fought a guy who was 180. He got robbed, basically. He got fucking uh, bumped out of the rankings. Uh, I mean, I don't like it, but that's what happens. You can't do a rematch at 170 or at 185. Let's do that. Let's do a rematch at 185 or 170. Who knows? Hamza Chimaev ran through Kevin Holland. I feel like the fight that needs to happen right now is him versus Covington. That fight needs to happen. Yeah. That fight needs to happen. That Kobe is. and Hamza. Yeah, Kobe and Hamza. Let's make it let's make it a headliner. If Hamza can make weight. Oh, that's the only issue, is Yeah, it? like when you miss weight like that and his last fight, I don't know if it was last fight or or his fight before that. He, you know, did the towel thing. Yeah. That was again two fights ago against Ling G. Yeah, that was against oh. Lee. Yeah. That was against Lee. That's the only problem I have with Hamza. If he can make the weight, then let's fucking do it. Let's wow. put him against Kobe Covington. Let's put him against um, what's his name? Kamar Usman. Even the winner of Usman and Leon Edwards three. That should happen. He should fight Kobe to get the winner of Usman and Leon three. That's why I think. Yeah. yeah that should that should happen. Then he needs to move up if he wants to become a two weight division world champion. Yeah. I mean, listen, Hamza is. A star. He's a big star. Right now, people kind of hate him, but at the same time, he's yeah. a big star. He's a big draw. Yeah, he's big. Yeah. But he, yeah, go on, go on. His management team came out and said he's going to fight at 185 around December. Around um, December, let's do Paulo Costa. Yeah. No, Paulo's out until the start of next year. Let's and do... Surgery. Let's do the winner of... Strickland and Cannoneer. How about that? That's ha- nah, that's happening in December now. Oh, yeah? So let's do him against the... Uh, uh, he doesn't want Whitaker. He doesn't want Whitaker because uh, he respects Whitaker. Let's do... Let's put him against... Brunson versus... No, nah, Brunson, no. Nah. No, no, no. No, Till's nah. booked. Till's booked against booked. Duplessis. Let's put that's him against... Fight. Yeah, that's a great fight. And let's put him... I don't know, man. The middleweight division is kind of booked now. Yeah. Yeah. Who's number? Oh, it's too soon because. Yeah. Um. If he wants to fight in December, the only fight that makes sense is a fight at 170. A rematch with yeah. Burns. We can do a rematch with Gilbert Burns. We can do the winner of uh, Sean Brady and Blah Muhammad. That could happen too. Oh, uh, that. That fight's on the prelims. Oh yeah, yeah. That it's. I think it's the. It's got. It's it's because they've got both of them to combine. Got star star power of a bag of crisps. Yeah. I mean, Bilal Muhammad. Then promote. I don't know. He's man. just a troll. Yeah. Jesus, we got two women headliners in the next two weeks. Dern, Yarn, and yeah. Gracio versus... Yeah, Dern so Anthony they are on name. the prelims, yeah. Benio Darius yeah, is also that on Gracio, Gracio fight, Sean Strickland was supposed to headline that, but yeah. he got him... He had something wrong with infected finger. Yeah. And Mackenzie Dern and Yarn... Shout on, that's a great fight card, by the way. I mean, I see I am seeing Trevin Jones and Honey Barcelos 
I'm seeing Isn't Cody Garbrandt on that. Yeah, Kobe got Cody Garbrandt in. Hani Yahya, whatever his name is. Then the Come next on, fight card is Gars Grasso and Araujo. That's a great fight as well. Yeah. Misha Serkinov, Alonzo Manifield, that's a great fight. Rafael Sanchez, Victor, Victor Henry. Victor Henry, yeah, and 280. Let's go. That's sick. That fight, that fight card is sick. And then after that, we got main event Barboza and Tupuria. And after that, we got fucking uh, what's it? Not not this one. This one is still on the works. Then we got 281. Adesanya Pereira three spars of Zhang Wei Li, Poirier and Chandler, Molly McCann and Aaron Blanchfield. Dude, I wish Poirier and Chandler was five rounds. Let's hey, let's yeah. let's let's riot. If they, if they don't make it five rounds, we're gonna riot. We riot. Yeah. Let's make it hey, five rounds. That one. I don't know. I don't know to be honest. Anything can happen. Let's make it five rounds, man. Come on. One of these guys is gonna fight for the championship soon. They need to prove that they are championship material. I mean they both done that, but come on, make it five rounds, man. Gaethje and Chandler was Three rounds. Make this one five. Come on. Come on, man. Give us five rounds. I don't give a shit if it goes too long. Give us five rounds. And they hate each other. They hate each other. Chandler, he came into the UFC. He was a nice guy. Poirier and Chandler, they don't like each other. They don't. And it started with Poirier talking shit. Obviously. But let's make it five rounds, man. Come on. Make it five rounds. Oh my god, dude! I've been feeling sick since yesterday, and I and the nausea and the fucking feeling of throwing up—it's not going away. Jesus, I'm fucking getting destroyed out here. All right, so this weekend we have got Young, so so Young, so Dong, so, Song Yudong. Dong. Is it my Dong or your Dong? It's my Dong. Yeah, no, your it's your Dong. Yeah, it's your Dong. And Corey Sanhagen. All right. Who are we going with on that one? I'm just going to go based off experience against the top people. I'm going to go Corey. I want to go think... with Corey as well. You, Song is a very good fighter. Yeah. Song, um, yeah. Your dong. Song, song is, a, is a very good fighter. I'm not going to call him your dong anymore. Yeah, Song is a very is good fighter. Is he ready for that level, though? He beat Marlon, though. He beat Marlon, but everybody's been beating Marlon now. That's the that's the issue here. I think he also got a win okay. over Song Yudon, over uh, uh, Marlon Vera, Chito. Did okay. he? Yeah, I think so, Marlon, yeah. Marlon Who got Chito a win over him? Uh, so, uh, Song Yudon beat Marlon Vera. I or may, maybe they went to a draw. I I don't know. No, it, it was um he went to draw with someone because he landed a legal knee. I don't know who it was. It might have been Cody Stephman, but he went to a draw in twenty nineteen. No, no, um Song Yedong won by via decision. Three round decision. Yeah, I know, but like he drawed someone. Yeah. I remember because he landed in a knee, uh, down the knee and lost a point. Oh, yeah? Don't know who. Yeah, it was in 2019, I think. Yeah, it was in 2019, yeah. All right, so I'm going with Corey Sanhagen. I feel like the experience fighting a high level, higher level fighters is going to be a factor. I mean, experience sometimes doesn't mean shit, but at the same time, fighting higher... Le- higher level opponents, it kind of gives you a little bit of advantage. I'm going with San Hagen on this one. I mean, I mean it's yeah, a good same. fight. It's a great fight. And we got Joe Pfeiffer in there. We got Tanner Bowser. We got um, Rodrigo Nascimento. We got Andre Feely. Bill Algio, two great fights right there. We got Chidi and Jakku. I'm not going to say his last name. Because his last name in Persian, it kind of means, you know, uh, it means F word. 
and not fuck. It means the other F word. If I say it, I'm going to sound fucking uh, homophobic. The, do you know what that means? F-A-G-G-O-T. Yeah, that one. Yeah. His, like, five, like, his last name, Angel, Angel and then that part, it's, a, it's an insult in Persian. So I'm not going to say it because if, if my mom hears it, she's going to think that I'm insulting you. And, you know, Persian moms, they don't like their kids insulting anyone. So, yeah, it's a great fight card. I cannot wait for that one. It's great. I'm gonna, We're going to enjoy the hell out of that one, to be honest. Um, yeah, let's fucking go, man. The fight card is great. The timing, like always, is in the U.S. So, yeah. It's not a blast. Well, it's actually, it's actually a good timing. It's actually not that bad. Yeah. Main car starts at midnight in England. Yeah. It's not that bad actually. Yeah, it's a good it's a good timing. All right, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. We're back, baby. We're fucking back. Unless the results come out and I have I don't know, I still fail a couple of exams again, then I might have to go six feet under. You know, my dad's gonna kill me. All right. So thank you guys for watching. It's been a pleasure talking you, to you guys. Ali Stanley, please don't use your powers. You don't want to... Do you, do you want them to take you to Area 51? Do you? Yeah. You're not using your fucking powers, man. I don't want to lose my best friend. Come on. All right. Thank you for watching. Uh, we're going to be back. We're going to have more guests. We're going to be more active, if you can't believe it. And yeah subscribe and if we get and if this episode get take gets taken down because i talked so many shit at the start we're gonna go we're gonna move on to rumble and thank you guys for watching uh all the standard please don't leave the meeting i've got something to show you see you guys i don't know next week bye bye